So the time is up for something, okay? Um, it may have been a sticky door to open, but doors are opening for you. You're sleeping good at night. Someone may be trying to disrupt your sleep at night. There's someone who you have not been in communication with for a while. This person may have salt and pepper colored hair. You're taking care of yourself, doing your nails, being all pretty, whether you're male or female, masculine or feminine. Um, you can be in either energy, so <clears throat> keep that in mind. Someone was trying to spot your reputation. Someone was trying to affect your financial stability. There's a lot of people talking about you at this time. <coughs> Goodness gracious. There's a queen of swords who um, lied. This person is a liar. She's cold hearted. She'll, she lies to get what she wants. And she wanted to affect your financial stability. You are guarded against this person and you're protected, okay? So you are protected against this these lies and slander, the slanders. Um, whatever this Queen of Swords has said about you, um, the truth is going to come out. It always comes out. You could be in your um, King of Wands energy. So even if you're a female, you could be in your masculine energy if you're balanced. Um, you know, so even if you're a female, you can be in your masculine energy right now, like your boss energy, um, leadership. Um, empathetic, caring, that kind of thing. Working really hard. You're a hard worker. You are definitely um, focused right now, thinking logically. Um, you're a go-getter, definitely. So you may be airing um, some secrets about something at this time. And there's a burning question. Um, and the burning question may be, okay, so if the shoe fits in reverse. So, and then we have licking your wounds in reverse. <clears throat> so the burning question as to why you're airing dirty laundry or revealing secrets may be because somebody tried to make you look like something you weren't. Someone um, maybe have even tried to take your position um, out of jealousy or envy. Um somebody wanted you to be sad and licking your wounds and they didn't want you to be able to recover from something they wanted to take your spot like you may be telling secrets and people may be wondering what's going on what what's the truth um but that's because someone was telling someone was telling a narrative that didn't fit okay so someone was telling a story about you and making up lies about you and it didn't fit and they they did that so that they could have you licking your wounds. They wanted you sad and depressed. And they wanted you like in this really negative energy. Um, for all intents and purposes came out. <coughs> I don't know about y'all. But this weather change has me. Has my allergies and stuff all messed up. A water sign could be involved. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio came out. Um, crystal clear came out in the reverse and don't step on anyone's toes in reverse. So what I'm getting is that somebody didn't want the truth about something to come out. They wanted to muddy the waters. They didn't want people to see the truth about who you are, what you do. And they didn't care to step on your toes to do it. This person was very cold hearted. Um, they had an ulterior motive, right? <laughs> well, this person is hitting the panic button, okay? This person is hitting the panic button. Um, better safe than sorry. They did not err on the side of caution with something. They did something impulsively. They didn't think it through before they did it. And now they are white as a sheet. They are freaking out. Yeah. And look before you leave came out in the reverse. So that goes along with uh, better safe than sorry. This person did something without thinking it through. They didn't think about the consequences. They didn't think it would come back to bite them in the ass. And guess what? It is. <laughs> because that's how karma works. I'm sorry, but this person is left spinning their wheels. This person is spinning their wheels about you. Something could have happened back in October. 
moment of truth, moment of glory. Someone didn't want you to be out in the spotlight. Someone did not want you to have your moment in the sun. Someone did everything they possibly could so that other people would not look at you. Oh my God, what the hell? Something could be happening on a Thursday. Someone is under judgment and someone is missing you. That's what came out. And this karmic person is waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay. They know something is coming. They know something is coming towards them. And they've been, they, they really thought they covered the tracks, but they really didn't. And they're getting really scared now. <laughs> this person really did the most. And Aries could be involved. The, um, someone did not see eye to eye with you in the past, so you may have um, not agreed with somebody in the past about something. They thought you were fake. They didn't think you were the real deal. They thought you were a phony. <clears throat> Sharp as attack in reverse. This person didn't think you were intelligent. They didn't think you were smart. And man, were they wrong. You may have even told this person um, that your greatest strength was being underestimated. And guess what, folks? It is. You know, sometimes people think you're unintelligent, but you're really smart and you're just sitting back and observing and watching. Something could have happened on a Wednesday. Um, something is going to be happening in the next 24 hours. Something could be happening in the fall for somebody. And you drew the line with somebody um, with this karmic energy. Um, man, I, some people just really do the most. You have to set boundaries with people. You teach people how to treat you, okay? cup of love cup of wisdom you teach people how to treat you boundaries are healthy you don't put up with bullshit ever 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 if someone treats you poorly don't let them come in your energy you need to keep your new your energy neutral okay that is very very important all right let's see if we can get some clarification cards here The offer you've been waiting for is coming to you, okay? <clears throat> you are in a new cycle. You're starting a new life. Um, these people that tried to have you stuck, whether it's one or multiple people, they did not succeed. You're moving forward. If you're in the upright, you're in the upright. If you're in the negative, you're in the negative. If you're in the negative, then you're a karmic, okay? <laughs> you know if you're a karmic because you do shady shit. Like, it's common sense. Someone is going to be showing you empathetic um, empathy. They're empathetic towards you. Um, they could even admire you. They could um, they could look. They're intrigued by you. Someone is intrigued by you. Yep. Okay. So Queen of Wands in reverse came out. So this person is not a leader. They wish they were you. Um, I'm, I'm feeling the energy of copycat energy really heavy, but this person is not a leader. They wish that they could fill your shoes, and that was back when um, the If the Shoe Fits in Reverse came out. Um, this person wanted to be you so badly. There we go. There's a few different scenarios going on in this reading. So this could resonate with a few different people. <clears throat> <clears throat> someone is under judgment and i believe that already came out so that's double confirmation someone did not want you to be in your ten of pentacles energy someone did not want you to have financial stability they wanted to affect your finances and this karmic energy this queen of wands in reverse who is not a leader may have lost finances because of what they have done to you so they may have lost their job because of something they've done to you <clears throat> yep okay so they didn't want to be they didn't want you to be seen as gifted or talented this is that copycat energy right here so there this is um some copycat energy going on here Somebody wanted your life. And this person is looking tragic. They can never be you. You A karmic can never be in the upright. Have you ever heard the saying, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife? That's what this shit is. This, this bee is looking tragic right now. <laughs> she is seriously looking tragic. Because people are amazed by you, Wonder Boy. 
Um, someone wanted you to hit rock bottom. This karmic energy, um, 40 ounces to freedom, someone could be drinking very heavily at this time, and they want you to save them. They got their self into a mess that they cannot get out of, okay? They scarred you in some way. Whatever they did, um, it caused some damage to you. Somebody put something in my drink. So somebody could have put something in your food or drink, okay? So someone could have even tried to poison you, and all hell's breaking loose. Armageddon, like... All hell is breaking loose for this karmic energy because everything is coming out into the open. Everything is coming out. Oh my gosh. Like this person really thought they covered their tracks and things are being exposed. If you have spiritual gifts or you're a reader, if you're in the upright, oh my gosh. God have mercy on this person's soul because every, yeah, there's a good reason all hell is breaking loose. Because you can't go around doing shady shit to people and get away with it. I mean, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Someone is feeling incomplete without you because they chose someone who is jealous. They're always up their ass. They're always up in their business. This person may have thought you were a jealous person, but they had no idea what jealousy was until they chose this karmic person over you, this copycat, because they're always concerned that this person is coming back to you over and over and over. Like this person is so worried that they're going to leave this person for you. And you know what? They have good reason to because this um, person that they're so concerned about still has feelings for you. Guaranteed. <clears throat> they see you celebrating dancing through sunday you set yourself free from this person so um this karmic energy could be connected to somebody that you're in a relationship in some way okay somebody needs psychotherapy somebody was self this karmic is self-medicating they could have said that you were self-medicating they could have even called you a drug addict and that is bull shit okay no matter what you do that's your business but this person lied, like, this person, this karmic energy spread rumors that was very damaging about you, and you know what? That just pisses me off. You're already gone. You already left the situation, so I don't know why this person is still up in your energy. You already si decided to let this person go, so you don't understand why this copycat energy is still all up in your business, because you already left. He's all yours. You can have him. But yet, she's still so concerned that he is going to leave her for you, okay? And flip the rules as needed, okay? Someone's going to be in a crash. All hell, like, there is a big storm coming. Like, everything is going to crash. Someone could literally be in a car crash. <clears throat> Shape of my heart. Someone didn't follow their heart. They didn't follow their intuition. They did not listen to what their intuition told them. They chose the karmic over you. Um, not enough tequila, whiskey, lullaby. This person has an alcohol addiction. So once again, um, they, this, your ex likes to party with this person, um, who spotted your reputation. They may share an addiction of some sort. Indian giver, someone may have made you an offer and then took it back. Someone may have even proposed to you. You may have been engaged to this person and they took it back. Don't want to lose you now in the reverse. This person didn't care to lose you. They actually told you to hit the bricks. They didn't care. But that was because they thought you were the false person. But, um, newsflash, you're having issues. If all hell's breaking loose, you chose the wrong person, boo. Okay? I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you chose a liar. You told someone who was not a leader. You chose a copycat energy. I don't know what to tell you. Somebody caused you heartbreak? And this person did that because they made a decision to cause conflict for you. This karmic energy caused so much conflict. They had so many people coming against you. And for what? I mean, honestly, for what? What was the purpose of this? Um, apparently they wanted what you had because they cannot stand on their own. This copycat energy needs to get a GD life for real. They're having a tower moment. Tower moment in the upright for you is good. There's a big tower moment. For them, it's bad. For the karmic energy, it's bad. For you, it's really good. Because when all hell breaks loose, the truth is going to be exposed. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You can't fight fate. You can't fight karma. The energy doesn't lie. The cards don't lie. People are going to get what they got coming to them. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. There is a hierophant. You are an official person. If you have spiritual gifts, um, 
you are an official person so you could be a spiritual leader or this also could be a judgment going in your favor in the court take it how it resonates okay folks because everyone's not on the same timeline people people are on different timelines and parts of the message may resonate with some of you and parts may not but if you listen to readers not every single message is for everybody but you take you know you take what applies to you and you leave what doesn't that's how it works Someone's going to be coming um, to you with some information. So I'm getting that court energy then. So this could be um, a lawyer or a court official, some court documents. You're going to be getting some information about a judgment of some sort. Okay. Queen of Wands again. Here we go. Okay, so we've had Queen of Wands come out twice. So someone lied to the courts about you. And um, there's a King of Pentacles. So you could be in your King of Pentacles energy or this court official. We had this come out in another reading where this King of Pentacles. So this could be this could be a lawyer, um, judge or police officer, someone in an official position who is financially stable coming towards you. They may or may not want to be in a relationship with you, but they have news concerning you. Um, they are concerned about a situation that has been going on and they may have even hired an investigator to look into something. So something could be happening by the fall. Something could have happened in October or September for some of you. So maybe some of you um, had court dates that you went to in September and October. But something is going to be happening for you this fall. <clears throat> October and September came out in reverse. So it could have been something that happened in the past involving September and October. And something could be happening for you in the future um, involving the fall. So we're kind of in fall season now. So um, something could be happening for you in the very near, near future regarding someone who is a pain in the neck, someone who is a pain in the butt. So this could involve someone who is dragging you to court constantly, um, trying to keep your finances like tied up, to, like just someone who is doing the most. <clears throat> And even if you were a female with a male energy, this could be a man who is in their little bitch energy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, if they're in their feminine energy and they want to act like a female, you know, that's... I just read the cards, man. I just read the energy. There's a silver lining for you. And you might not even know what that is just yet. There's something being hidden from you. I'm getting a really strong energy. There's a group of people, a fine kettle of fish. So there's a group of people, and it, it doesn't have to be all females, but when I see this card, I think of a group of females, but <clears throat> that's not always the case. But there's a group of people that's hiding something from you, and you don't even know anything about it. There is something happening for you, and you have no idea what is even going on. It's almost like everyone else knows what's going on except you. That's messed up. And someone is sad about this. Like, th there could be this, this whole group could actually be sad because they these came out together. So there could be a group of people sad because you, you have the attitude of gratitude. You see the silver lining in situations and whatever they tried to keep hidden from you, you are still going to get it. You're still going to get it because you are a good, kind soul. You are in the upright. If you're in the upright, you know you're in the upright. You are a good person. Somebody took advantage of you. Somebody took advantage of you. Something's going to be happening in November for somebody. Or November could be significant. That could be birthday. Um, and Scorpio came out right after that. So Scorpio came out sideways. So there's a silver lining for you involving a Scorpio. Okay. So if this person was dragging you into court or something, um, something, they could be caught up in something. They may have to pay you restitution if they even lived that long. I'm getting the energy that they could even be passing. Someone refused to see the light. They didn't want to see the light about you. They refused to accept it. V for victory. This person failed. This person failed. They didn't want to see how good you were. They didn't want to acknowledge how good you were and they failed. So they tried to make you look like you were, um, just this horrible person and they they absolutely failed everything that they did was fail failed three strikes you're out this person struck out they were the broken record they kept doing the same shit over and over and over and guess what they failed to make you look bad because you're not whatever they said you were you are not okay 
people are starting to see it. It may have taken them a while. This, I'm not going to lie. This might have even taken years. But you are going to have victory because you were patient. So this also came out sideways. Scorpio under his or her thumb. This person is obsessed with you. This Scorpio, this silver lining um, under his or her thumb. This person, his or her, him or her, whatever. Take it how it resonates. This person is obsessed with your energy. They will never come out and say it. But they are obsessed with you. This person was your opposite. Complete opposite. You could be um, opposites um, relating to religion. Um, you know, like maybe this person was not your normal type. Take it how it resonates. One could be spiritual. One could be religious. Um, that's kind of how it goes in my case. Obviously, I resonate with this. I definitely resonate with this reading, of course. Scorpios be crazy sometimes. No, no disrespect, but I mean, I do listen to a reader who is a Scorpio and she's the best Scorpio I've ever, you know, heard of, whatever. My, I have a child who's a Scorpio, so I don't hate all Scorpios, but man, the ones that I've been in a relationship with, they are the most. This person did not want you to go forward. They did not want you to move forward. This person wanted control of you under his or her thumb came out. This person wanted you stuck like forever. Like this person is, you're not even with this person. I can guarantee you, you're not with this person anymore. So you may have been married to this person. You may have been in a relationship. You may have children with this person, but for some reason they keep you, they're able to take you back to court or over and over and over. That's the energy I'm getting. So I feel like you guys may have children together, but this person has a tie to you and he wanted that tie to you. He wanted to keep that hold on you so that he could just keep coming back whenever it was convenient. Like he wants control. Like this person is nuts. And like I said, even though it was a female that came out like the queen of wands, this could be a man and his female energy. Okay. And that's, that's what I'm, I'm, that's actually what I'm getting. I'm actually, excuse me. I'm actually getting that this is a masculine and their feminine energy because they're acting like a little bitch and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They're a little bitch because they're in the reverse and they do the shadiest stuff to you. Something could be happening in May. I'm not going to lie. They ripped you off. They took something from you, whether it was your kids, your finances, this person stole something from you. And you know what happens to people who steal? They, karma's a bitch. E, F, G, and H could be significant to somebody. They can't stand that you're having fun in the sun. They wanted you in despair. They, this person is the ultimate narc. There's no sugarcoating it. This is Queen of Wands in reverse. And you may have more than one person. Maybe you have two Queen of Wands. You may have a feminine and masculine Queen of Wands in reverse in your energy. But they cannot stand you having fun. It's like it kills them to see you enjoying life. Because they're miserable. Misery loves company. These people need... Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, this kind of stuck to my hand. Um, so an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be involved. So I'll put that down just because it stuck to my hand. And we'll get some final messages and close this out. If they get too long, I have trouble uploading them. So I'll try to keep it on the shorter side if I can. What did I say? Karma's a bitch. Whatever they had planned for you is going back to them. They did the utmost to you. They did everything they could to ruin your character, make people think so horrible of you. And for what? Because they're jealous of you? Whether it's a man or what? Like, get out. I'm really picking up a masculine energy. And you know what? Get out of your little bitch energy. I'm not going to lie. Get out of your bitch energy. Man up. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. Cup of love, cup of wisdom. Some of you females are more masculine than these males will ever be. And you know what? I can vouch for that shit. Yep. True story. And yes, I curse. I curse a lot sometimes. I can't help it. I get ex I'm passionate. I'm passionate. Someone did not want you to be able to weather the storm. They didn't want you to get out of the situation. They wanted you ultimately in despair. Man... 
they didn't want to kiss and make up with you. Like, I don't understand it. This is like the ultimate dark obsession. This person is obsessed with you, obsessed with ruining your life, but they don't want to be with you. But they're in love with you. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, this person is very much, like, obsessed with everything that goes on in your life. But they don't want to be with you. Dang it. It does not make it make sense. Seriously. Make it make Oh, Jesus. Alright. So since these fell on the floor, I'll go ahead and take these. You know what? Sometimes spirit just leads you down a road. So you got to take what comes out. A Capricorn could be involved. A Taurus could be involved. Um, look before you leave. Came out in the reverse. That came out earlier at the bottom of the deck, and it came out. So obviously it's supposed to come out, okay? So someone did something impulsively. They didn't think about it before they did it. Not written in stone. This person thought they had everything sealed in a night nice tiny little bag with a bow um this person thought they had the deal sealed but you know what it's not written in stone whatever they thought they had in the bag not happening okay missed the boat on that one in reverse okay this person didn't accomplish whatever they wanted to accomplish they did for a little bit so that's why it's in reverse they they wanted you to miss the boat but guess what the time is up that was the very first card that came out time's up they, they, they can only hold you back for so long. Time's up. People judged a book by its cover because of what these people said about you. Person or people. Take it how it resonates. People judged you because of what this person said. And guess what? An eye for an eye. And karma's a bitch already came out. So this person is going to get exactly whatever they wish for you. It's going back to them. This person has a tower moment coming if they're not in it already. Okay, something is going to be happening for someone in December. Someone thought you were too good to be true. Okay, they wanted uh, everyone to think that you had some flaws, that you weren't as good as you appeared to be. Well, guess what? Just because you curse or maybe drink alcohol or something, that doesn't mean you're a bad person. That doesn't mean you're too good to be true. You can still be a good person because you mind your own business. You stay at home, you chill, you don't mess with anybody. You're not a karmic. So what the hell? Jog your memory. You may be having memories of somebody at this time. Um, someone was all talk and no action. So this person did a lot of talking, but they couldn't prove whatever they were saying, which is why they're in trouble, because they made up a lot of lies. And guess what? You can't prove lies. You can, uh, you can only make up shit for so long. And when someone actually takes the time to look into something, and they find out that this person was full of shit... Once bitten, twice shy. So this person, this person hurt you multiple times. This person kept hurting you over and over and over again. This was not an isolated incident. It happened more than once. And they got caught red-handed. Okay, folks? They got caught. That's why it's over. It's over and done with. I hope this helps. Have a good night, folks. All right? As always, do everything with a cup of love, cup of wisdom. Think things through before you do them. Stay in the upright. Don't be a karmic. Because... <clears throat> Whether you look at things as either, as either karmic or you reap what you sow, it always comes back to you, okay? The spiritual realm is a real thing, and even if you don't come under judgment in this realm, the spiritual realm doesn't forget, alright? I hope this helps. Good night, folks.